hello uh, today we will see an interesting application of recursion so in basketball uh, runs scored can be 1 2 or 3 so the question is what scores can get a team a total score of n and uh, here the 1 and 2 and score of 2 comma 1 are considered as two different scores that is if a team wants to score three points it can score it by one comma two and two comma one so these are considered two different cases so what's the question we need to print all of the possible cases okay so the answer is like this we use recursion here to get a score of n a team starts playing let us say they score one run in the beginning that is their first score is a score of one then we print one followed by all the ways they can score remaining points that is the n minus one remaining points actually we do not print one just now what we do is we store one in an array and call all my children and what my ch uh, children will do is to tell how n minus one score can be achieved and when the uh, call reaches the leaf that is my lowermost children lowermost descendant there the array is completely full so uh, there I can print the array okay so let us say what is another case let us say they score two run in beginning then we print two and followed by all the ways to score the remaining n minus two points third case is third in the final case they scored three runs in the beginning then we print three followed by all the ways to score remaining n minus three points here two boundary cases are to be handled that is we must see n minus three or n minus two whatever I am passing to my children to score that score must be greater than or equal to zero and if it is equal to zero then my children do nothing and just return because n is equal to zero there is only one way to achieve it that is nothing we take an example to clearly understand this thing we take example of n is equal to four points so i print one and pass the remaining three points to my children one of my children decides to print one in the beginning another might decide to print two in the beginning another might decide to print three in the beginning the children who printed three has nothing more to do because the score of four has been achieved so this is the case where n is equal to zero we stop there the children who printed two calls only the children who one who score one and not two or three because uh, the remaining point is one and one minus two is negative one minus three is also negative so only one children is called and here the, my children who score one can call the children only one and two because a remaining store score of two is to be achieved two minus two is greater than or equal to zero 2 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 but 2 minus 3 is less than 0 so we can't call the 3 children here so 3 can't be called here this is not possible because the remaining score is 2 and 2 minus 3 is less than 0 so 1 and 2 are called and when we called our 2 children 2 child then this case is finished because 2 score is achieved and 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 so we have reached the end base case 
when we call one children then it further calls one that is the only possibility similarly these are for two and three thank you